We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarshop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. This is Monday, March 3rd, 2014. I'm David Knight. I'm filling in for Alex Jones, and I'm joined here in the studio with Anthony Gucciardi. And we've been talking about the FDA, this amazing request for a proposal that they put out for a company to monitor social media to see what people are saying about the FDA, about the FDA's rulings. Absolutely amazing. We're talking about the implications of that. But I want to tell you first that this hour is brought to you by... My Patriot Supply. You know, we're seeing attacks on our freedoms like never before, but we can secure our independence by breaking free of the confines of their systems of control, you know, like the FDA. The path to liberty starts with attaining a level of self-reliance. My Patriot Supply is a home of a wide array of survival products, including the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage products. It's delicious, nutritious, and prepares in minutes. Patriot Pantry offers amazing variety, great taste, and is packaged to last up to 25 years. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today to experience their top-rated customer service, top-quality products, their incredibly reasonable prices, the products you need, the service you expect, and the price you can afford. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today. 
Well, Anthony, this is pretty amazing, isn't it, to see the level of detail that they're doing. But I think it's really, we see all these different government agencies doing it, but you know, just as people are starting to maybe even get passe about the NSA monitoring everything, they now find out that the FDA is doing that. They're assassinating people's characters who are whistleblowers. They're monitoring what people are saying about the FDA rulings. Well, isn't it interesting? We see all these dying government organizations and these corporations like Bank of America, for example, spying and desperately trying to make sure there are no whistleblowers to reveal anything about the company. Yes. Because they know if the truth came out, they would ultimately meet their downfall. Now, <clears throat> specifically, we could go back to Bank of America with the leaked emails. One of the biggest stories in recent times that we managed to break uh, through InfoWars, through StoryLeak, my website, is the Bank of America emails revealing that Bank of America has all these spying teams that go out on social networking <laughs> and they look for so-called Occupy protesters or anti-government people, basically anyone that questions the establishment. And then they work with the feds directly yes. in coordinating these people into certain groups and profiling them. Mm -hmm. And the FDA is just doing that now. And they're also desperately afraid of the whistleblowers inside. And now, you, before you know, we get away from that, I, we, I was just talking earlier in the show to Paul Joseph Watson, and he was talking about Glenn Greenwald and and his experiences with uh, WikiLeaks and with Julian Assange and everything. And we have the slides that were leaked. Actually, WikiLeaks got a hold of the slides where they were plotting to Bank of America and others were plotting to freeze their accounts. And they were plotting to go after Glenn Greenwald and other leaders personally, just like we see the FDA doing with this Yale radiology expert that worked for them that was blowing the whistle on the GE radiation device. We see that it's a, a method of personal attack. And, and in the next hour, we're going to be talking to Kathleen Willey. How did the Clintons come after her? How did the Clintons come after all these women who accused him of sexual misconduct? They went after them with personal assassination attacks. That's what's so very, very dangerous about the surveillance state that we have. Well, you see this in every single sector, from the new commanders getting fired in the military, all the Air Force commanders being pushed off, Obama firing all the generals, mm -hmm. to you know, ultimately the spy sector, where they're now desperately afraid of whistleblowers. You talk to any federal government worker, Obama is going down on anything that's related to whistleblowing. It is the number one enemy of the state. Oh, yeah. That's why the FDA is doing this. The Most of the people that have been prosecuted under the Espionage Act that was put back in, I think, 1917, almost all of them have been under the Obama administration. I think he's, he's done like uh, six or seven. And prior to that, and all the other administrations combined, there were three. Three. And he's like triple what, uh, double to triple what these other people have done. Well, you know, he has Bank of America helping him. He's got the FDA. Yes. He's got multiple wings of this looking into it. And there's actually two key things. Napolitano, Judge Napolitano says this is against the Fourth Amendment. He's already speaking out against it. It's already making news, which is good. But I want to talk about in a little bit how years ago we already exposed all of this. And mm -hmm. years ago, we've already exposed how the medical establishment is dying. The FDA and all of its cronies are losing and they're imploding and this is the result. Because first you ignore it, then you try and fight a little bit. They're at the boiling point where they're melting down and this is their response. They have nothing but physical action. They have nothing but overload meltdown levels of red alert scenarios to where they're trying to squash the whistleblower so it doesn't get any worse. But the FDA knows full well what's going on. They know key things we're going to get into how superbugs are dominating everything, and garlic is actually the answer. We have the studies. They know that 80% of all the antibiotics used are from livestock, and they permit that. They know all of this. They know that even though every corporation is funding Monsanto and funding these you know, uh, anti-GMO labeling bills, that organic is still $31 billion as of just a couple of years ago. I mean, it's exploding. They can't stop it. Yes. You're winning the battle. And that's why they want to look at social media. They want to know what they can do. It's, it's now an info war. It's, it's an oh, info it's war and a PSYOP war. And the FDA is saying essentially the same thing with this RFP. They're saying essentially the same thing the Pentagon said a while back. Remember that uh, televised news conference uh, that they had with, with people who were information officers for the Pentagon? And this one uh, lady officer gets up and says, nobody believes what we're saying. They just dismiss it as mindless propaganda because we're not telling them the truth, essentially. And, and so the FDA is looking at this as well. They have, they're trying to manufacture consent for their agenda. 
And a vital part of that is to know whether or not their propaganda is working. So they, they want to have a company that's going to do it. This is the sort of stuff that, that used to be done secretly. Now they're just out in the open. Oh, exactly. Kind of and that's, that's the craziest part about it is they're out in the open. Yeah. And we're able to, you know, push the headlines in such a way that we can get this to the mainstream media and ultimately win. But this reminds me of a key article that I was on actually with Alex, I think in September or eight months ago or something. Uh, the GMO activists being targeted specifically by the government, mm -hmm. by criminal government organizations, you know, actually looking for criminals, saying that GMO activists were concerning and, you know, anything to do with GMOs was radical and right-wing extremism and things like that. This is what we're talking about. This is what Bank of America sees us as, these people that are not following the establishment agenda and should therefore be reported to the feds. And this expands into everything. And specifically, we can get into the fact that even though they're trying to squash the whistleblowing, even though they're trying to use disinformation campaigns and go into the comments of major news websites like InfoWars and just spam garbage all day long, even though they're doing all that, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. People are talking about it. And specifically, one way they're really trying to dominate this field for their own um, victory is by making it very challenging for supplement manufacturers or food manufacturers to even get good high quality organic ingredients. You know, whether we're talking about food that's been highly irradiated, such as if you get organic ingredients, sometimes you have to actually, by law, put them through mass irradiation. Mm -hmm. You know, or you have to use pesticides that are actually worse than some of the, you know, Roundup pesticides from Monsanto. All of this craziness is happening, and they're putting these laws and bureaucratic limitations on all of this so that you can't even get real food anymore. And that's, that's right. why it's such a challenge to get organic, real ingredients, and I'm amazed that we've done it. I'm so glad, uh, glad to work with Alex on InfoWars Life with Super Male Vitality and everything because it's so hard to get real organic ingredients. Well, you've got this... It was the FDA themselves that has just floated new regulations that are going to be taking place in the next couple of years. And there was a story that came out last week in California where the FDA went to an organic farmer's farm and said, here's my badge. Here are these new regulations. I just want you to know what's going to happen. You're no longer going to be able to make your fertilizer on the farm. You're no longer going to be able to till your ground with animals. We're going to have you buy all this stuff from big pharmaceutical, you know, the big uh, fertilizer companies. You're going to buy synthetic petrochemicals and pesticides and this sort of thing because we're going to outlaw the natural ways that people have farmed for millennia. And That's I just yet another place where they're coming after the family farmer, the organic farmer, and, and putting this burden of regulation on them until they drive them out of business. Regulations on the... So that's the way the government has always been used is to put for the large companies to come in and use bureaucracies like the FDA to put burdensome regulations on their competitors, which in this case are the small independent organic family farms, put them out of business so they've got a monopoly. No, exactly. The FDA acts as a mafia corporation to impose its laws and regulations on the other corporations that aren't paying their dues, essentially. Mm -hmm. And what we've seen now is manufacturers that are actually using high quality, super good organic ingredients get visited by military people, people in military uniforms that say they work for the FDA. Yes. It turns out they do. They're lieutenants and everything. They now use military terminology to designate the FDA officials. They come out to these factories with weapons and tell them, yes, we're going to have to check out what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, as if they are criminals, as if the organic manufacturers out literally in the middle of farmlands with like the best possible stuff out there for anything, the cultivation, all the best regulations, all the best stuff. They're out there saying, yeah, we're going to have to take a look around. We're going to have to look at all your proprietary stuff, take some pictures, you know, all this stuff. Total harassment. Meanwhile, you have drug companies that are killing people. And yes. They pay a few million dollars, which is like 0.001% of their actual annual profits, and they get slapped on the wrist. Because... The FDA is really there to provide legal immunity for these companies. They, they look at something like SSRI drugs or Paxil, which just recently came out, and they said, look at how the reoccurrence of cancer or the mortality of cancer skyrockets when Paxil is given to women with breast cancer. Now, of course, Paxil is an SSRI antidepressant, and for the longest time, Paxil and uh, these other Prozac, these other SSRIs, they would give them these drugs and for treatment of depression, 
And in the information there in the fine print, it says that it can make you even more depressed. It can make you suicidal. It can make you homicidal. It can exacerbate the very condition that you're taking it for. But nobody reads those. They just know this is FDA approved. And if somebody sues them in court, it's like, hey, I got an FDA approval, so I'm okay. It's, it's my legal immunity. No, exactly. And it costs $12 million to pay the FDA to go through even these mm -hmm. simple processes. And then you have something, they look at it over and over again. And you now let's be clear. It's just like everything.